Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of GIS Answers. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you find these videos useful. Today what we'll be doing is showing how to make a heat map in ArcGIS Pro. We have a bunch of address points in a layer for Lund in Sweden. And what you do, you uh, go to right click on the table of contents and then go to symbology. And then instead of single symbol, you want to pan down and go to heat map and the heat map will be generated based on those points and with the option of a constant or dynamic and the difference is dynamic will change if you zoom in and out so i show that as we zoom in it'll be rendered differently recalculated for within the map view We have the rendering quality right in the middle. Let's see if uh, we can improve the speed. Yeah, maybe a little bit quicker. Quite a bit quicker, I would say. And you can change this color scheme. I like the yellow to red. Not so good. That one's not so bad. And you can change the radius. So I'm changing this, increasing this to, let's go with a 75 from 25 Let's see what happens so maybe uh not so effective i would i would like to go let's go back to a 10 then see what happens with a 10 see if it gives it gives us a little bit more detail there we go okay so maybe some more concentrated areas but the default was 25 doesn't seem to have rendered that again Okay, try that at uh, 40. Okay, try 30. Okay, so yeah, I mean, you can get some different effects by uh, changing that radius number. Uh, we haven't done anything with the weight field. I don't know. Um, I don't have anything that could influence that right now. So, yeah, I mean, uh, this is uh, something useful if you have some, maybe some point addresses uh, representing po population or any kind of point information that you'd like to uh, show as a heat map. Um, so there you go, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and uh, we'll see you again next time. Thank you.